This week, we're going to think about how dinosaur fossils are formed. But what is a fossil? You ever seen a fossil before? What about something like this? Have you ever seen one of these before? What have you noticed about these pictures? You might recognise this type of fossil, called an ammonite fossil. I tell you what, let's travel back in time and meet a dinosaur and see if we can find out what a fossil is and how it was formed. One day a dinosaur was just going about his business as usual. Unfortunately, he started to think something bad was going to happen and he was right. He felt a bit unwell and he died. Other dinosaurs came to feast on his meat and muscle. They did not eat the bones, so the skeleton remained. Eventually, the skeleton would be covered by layers of mud. Soon the skeleton would be fully buried. Over time, the skeleton would be covered with more and more layers of mud, and then more and more layers of sand, and more mud, and then even volcanic ash. All of these layers building up over millions of years would be very heavy. This meant they would settle into hard layers and form something called a sedimentary rock. Don't forget, our dinosaur skeleton is still sitting within one of the layers of these rocks. Water would gradually seep through into the bones. The water left behind minerals and the minerals would gradually turn the bones to stone. This is how the fossil was created within the earth. The earth changed a lot over millions of years. Rocks which were below the ground rose to being above the ground. This was something called uplift. Through a combination of wind, water from rain and ice, gradually rock has been worn away to reveal some fossils and expose the skeleton. Unfortunately, some are lost, but luckily some are found. Out of all of the fossils that we find, Around 99% of them are marine animals. Marine animals are animals from under the ocean, such as shellfish or sharks. This is because they lived in the sea. So when they died, their bodies could be buried in sand or mud. And this would happen very quickly. But dinosaurs don't live under the sea. So why do we find so many dinosaur fossils? Well, that's because most of the dinosaur fossils we find are close to a body of water. This might be a river or a pond or a lake. The river or the lake might flood and cover the remains with mud and water. But this wasn't the case for all dinosaur fossils. Some dinosaur fossils were found in sand too. Some dinosaur fossils have been found where dinosaurs have been fighting. And then they were covered by a big sand dune. The dinosaurs were still found in the fighting position when there were fossils. How amazing is that? Another fossil has been found of a dinosaur sitting on a nest protecting the eggs. Historians believe that a sandstorm came and covered the dinosaur and buried it alive. The fossils of dinosaurs being alive when they were buried are very rare. Not all fossils of dinosaurs are their bones. Some show dinosaur footprints or impressions of skin and even feathers. Have you ever found a fossil? Dinosaur fossils are quite rare. You might not find them, but you might find an example of an ammonite. Have fun investigating your fossils today.